Good evening, my name is Maher Lewis and today I'm going to show you how to translate, rotate, and change the datum of a set of survey points from an arbitrary XY coordinate system to a grid, gridding, grid north and easting um, uh, that, that is, was surveyed for another project. And uh, same points were occupied in, in both surveys and so I'll be using the same points to translate and rotate uh, from one arbitrary coordinate system to the other. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up the drawing with the points. So in this case you, you will notice a window dialog box saying that it has been created by a previous version and that previous version used AEC objects which could mean that it are point that it's points. In this case, there are point objects in the drawing. The next thing you want to do is you want to have this menu uh, shown. And to get to the menu, you have to use this pull down menu and say show menu bar. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to points, utilities, convert all points, uh, all the land desktop points into uh, point objects for civil 3D. So say OK. And you notice all these points pop up. Okay. The other thing you notice is in your points groups, you have now all the points in your all points group. How many points are we talking about? It says right here, number of points, 647. Now, you don't want to go through 647 points and to find out which two points you're going to use to translate and rotate about. So to, to shortcut, what I do is I create a new point group of those two points that I'm going to use to rotate everything about. So the name of these, this new point group is going to be Control Translation. And I'm going to include two points, which I know are the points that I'm going to rotate about. How do I know the two points? Well, let me show you. I received an Excel spreadsheet from the surveyor who did the original survey and I asked him to occupy the same points in the grid northern east ring that we're using for the next project and he did and he gave me this spreadsheet and here we go so here he is he occupied two points 1160 and 1161 and what he did is he occupied it uh, he knew the northern east ring elevation description of the previous you know the point that he called out in the arbitrary x point and he just basically set up on it and here are the coordinates of the true grid northern east ring for each of those points okay so one six one one six zero and one one six one are the two points that i'm going to include see this include tab with numbers matching 1160, 1161. Okay. Now, how do I focus on these two points in the control translation? Well, I have to turn off these ones first. Not delete them, but turn them off. So right click on the properties of the all point group. Make sure that the style of the point group is none. And then we'll click on this point group right click on the points in the panorama down below and say zoom to there's the first point there's the second point now I have to zoom out to see both of them okay here's the first point and here's the second point now what I normally do is I choose one of these two points as the point for trans translation and then the other point as the point of rotation so what do I how do I do it well I think because most of my focus is on this area here I'm going to use this as my my point of translation it's 160 1160 so how do I do that well now that I've identified the points I go to settings right click on the on the drawing name edit the drawing settings. In the unit zone, make sure that the units are correct. It's in feet, it's in degrees, and the datum is arbitrary. So scroll down to the bottom and you see arbitrary. Next thing you see is 
the coordinate system, which is going to be in arbitrary feet. Say OK. Or I'll say apply. Then transformation. Click the apply transformation settings and so sorry. Do not use this button. <laughs> I recommend just entering in the number. So you know the number is 1160. So that's the number that I'm going to translate with. And then you know the rotation, the backside is 1161. Okay? Now, the grid northern eastern. Here they are. So this is the first northern. So I'll copy it from the cell. And then this is the eastern. And then the same thing for the other point. apply hit OK the other thing that you want to do is you want to bump the elevation okay here the surveyor says that the difference in elevation is 2.31 so we'll do that we'll go to points edit points datum and enter in the number 2.31 okay now that may not be the right way of doing it because do you know the significant figures makes a huge difference in this trans this uh, elevation difference? So what I do, instead of entering the number here, is I go right to the point, copy it, and then paste. Okay. Next thing you want to do is, since you just want the points, you just go to points, utilities, I'm sorry, import export, export the points. And the file format that you want to export has to have northering eastering of the grid. These do not have the northering eastering of the grid. These have the northering eastering of the local coordinate system. So you need to copy this one and make a new one for yourself. So copy. And we'll call it translation. And you want it to have a format of CSV. And here is the way to get to northern. And here is the way to get to easting. And say OK. So close. And then you choose it. See? Oh, I got the wrong one. <laughs> That's OK. We can always add. I want description. Uh, all the boxes should be unchecked. Click OK. Click OK. Replace. Now. So now here are all the points. Should be done. Let's uh, make sure the significant figures is enough. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. Now let's do a side by side. Again, here's the point that we translated. There's the point of backside. And this is the elevation. You can see this elevation is the elevation that came up the same or close. And that concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching.